a question, pastors here. Very simple question. Very simple. Whether you don't like me or you like me, but this is a question that you need to answer. You have Africans in China being chased out of houses. Why? Because the disease was once called by the Americans a Chinese virus. virus. Mm -hmm. Now they want to get rid of this stigmatization, right? Mm -hmm. By blaming the Africans, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Now Africans are being chased from houses. They are staying in the streets, Jesus. under the bridges. Mm -hmm. A black man mm -hmm. suddenly mm -hmm. has become the source of this virus. Ah. Now, this is the most amazing thing. And then you have the Chinese doctors coming to Africa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we have the Chinese leaders receiving them. You have videos. You are looking at what, how Africans are being treated. And you think what is coming to Africa is love. You it, think it is AIDS. Ah. What's wrong with us? What has made us to believe that they want to save Africa? Ten years, this will be a Chinese colony. Because you cannot talk of political independence when you have no economic independence. Economic independence is the most important thing. Others follow. And we must empower our people and make sure they are protected from unfair competition and mistreatment by people who do not belong here. And I'm not saying we have anything against investors. We want them to come, but they want them to work with us. And we don't want them to come and destroy the local capacity. And if we don't protect the local capacity and we allow the Chinese to kill the local capacity, they are quoting law so that our people cannot compete in another 10 years when the entire local capacity is entirely destroyed. They will come back now and raise the prices. And there is nothing we shall do because we shall have no capacity. So this bill intends to protect the local capacity. We want them to partner with us so that there is technology transfer. We want our engineers to be part of these projects. They are coming with everything, engineers, surveyors, plant operators, drivers. Why do you need to bring somebody from China to drive a truck? Why do you need to bring somebody from China to drive an excavator? We have plant operators here in thousands who are jobless. Our people have closed down their shops. There's no business. These guys now have come. They are even hawking. They are opening retail shops. And we want to challenge the Minister of Interior. We want to challenge the Cabinet Secretary who is very abrasive and who is, looks very active. All these Chinese who are here doing manual work, where did they get permits to come to this country? Those who are here and they have no business being here, they be put on a plane back to their country. Those who need to stay here, they can stay. Those who have skills that are not available locally. But gentlemen, are you telling me that we have no people who can repair tubes when there is a, there is a tire bust? Surely, these people have come too much. This is an invasion. You know, a lot of people wonder how Dubai became a very big, famous and rich um, city. You see, if you are if you're comparing with Nigeria, listen to this. Nigeria has oil before than Dubai. It's a history. They are more rich than us. They have agriculture, they have mining, they have everything, you name it, they have it. Am I right or wrong? When you have a true leadership, which we have, we have nothing, but we have everything because we have the right leadership. That's the only thing you need, a right leader for your country, not corruption. That's what brings your country at the top. You don't need anything. We don't have, we want water, we don't have agriculture.